issue the snap there. Oh, and a big shot. Big shot. Byron Murphy came up with a stick on Britton Covey. Hey, Murphy. You know, Murphy's in a very difficult position here. You know, that's a defenseless receiver. All these rules. Guy just got kicked out of the game, and he could not have come up and done that any better. Didn't hit him with his the crown of his helmet. That's didn't hit shoulder. Him, didn't hit him in the head or neck area. Shelly scans to the wide side. That ball struggled and picked. And headed the other way is Byron Murphy. A game-changing play. 66 yards to the house. Defense with the first touchdown tonight. The second interception of the night. And really, it's neither quarterback's fault. This is just unfortunate. As the OC Mariner somehow doesn't get that football in, and there's Byron Murphy for his third interception of the season. A game-changing play for the Huskies, taking all the air out of this stadium for the Utah crowd. 24 passes, but right now it's Nate Ketteringham and North Dakota back to work, and Toivonen is stapled right at the spot by Byron Murphy. And North Dakota has to use another timeout, their last, because that only got a couple of yards. I mean, that's, that's how you do it. Head out of the tackle, drive, bring your hips. Byron Murphy's a star, Ted. I mean, he's yes. got next level all over. A very quiet F, three for nine for 45. He throws into a crowd. And almost intercepted by Byron Murphy. He had inside position on Dylan Mitchell. On second and eight, a minute and 20 to go in the half. Herbert to the end zone. Batted away by Byron Murphy. He was looking for Dylan Mitchell. And of course, this first quarter, he's come out and run a touchdown and thrown for one. And his reception here on the sideline has been fantastic as we now have a turnover. Byron Murphy, the interception for Washington as Costello throws the pick. Fourth career interception for Murphy, first this year. The feisty nature of how he makes this play is just phenomenal because Trent Irwin has strong hands and he actually got to the football first. Byron Murphy ran up on him and just snatched it away like some kind of neighborhood bully. Watch him work, runs the route for Irwin, sees the ball, converts on it, and then just takes it away. It late like they did against BYU last week. Shelley hit as he let it go. It's Murphy again. The third Washington pick tonight. Washington decides to bring a pressure once again. Getting Jason Shelley a little bit off the spot. Hey, diddle diddle. Let's send a guy up the middle. Nice. And once rap has got a free run, Shelley knows he's going to take off. He ends up seeing Simpkins open downfield, but it's Byron Murphy who takes advantage of just an inaccurate football, inaccurate throw. And you wonder if Joe Tryon got a hand on it to affect that. Steps into one, incomplete, and no flag. Washington's going to head to the Rose Bowl for the first time since 2000. And guess who? Working on COC Mariner. Watch the break on the football. See if there's contact at the top. It looks close. This would be a great angle. Here's Clearly a early. The 111th Apple Cup. Minshew taking a shot to the end zone. A jump ball, and it's picked off by Byron Murphy. So Washington's defense able to ensure that that special teams miscue doesn't bite them. And the Huskies are primed to take the lead into the break. Well, in these conditions, there's no gimme that you're even going to make a field goal if indeed this ends up incomplete and you have the opportunity to. But this is the risk you take when you essentially throw up a Hail Mary. That's been played. Washington's offense has been out there. Here's a slant going up to get it. Solomon Enos, the ball came out as he went to the ground, but they signal a catch. About it in the day of it, in an age of targeting, and this would be the case of a wide receiver who would be considered defenseless. And they did say incomplete. He, you know, he, he hits him right in the strike area. 